Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Tonight I'm going to be doing lamb chops. I'm going to do the rib portion of the lamb chops. First, I want to say congratulations to my contestant winners. I had three. The first was Quincy Tulane, then it was Pearly Peach, and the third one was Gigi. I hope that I have truly been a blessing to you during this holiday season. Now, we, tonight I'm going to be, I'm not going to be using the regular seasonings on the lamb chops, which would normally be for me. It would be minced garlic and it would be rosemary. I'm not going to use that tonight because I'm going, I'm still in the process of doing a review for Chef Holly. So tonight I will be doing her Chef Holly essential seasoning. So let's get started. Okay. This is relatively hot. Here I have a grill pan that I have on top of the stove. And I do have two lamb chops. And like I said, these are rib lamb chops. And I've had them marinating inside of the olive oil along with Chef Holly's essential seasonings for two hours. Now, I'm going to take this out. And my marinating time is normally two hours. And I just want to put a grill on the lamb chop. So I'm going to take the lamb chops and I'm going to place them directly on the grill. Okay. And I've tried her essential seasonings in my oxtail soup and I'm going to give this review all at once. I wanted to see how this essential seasonings actually work across the board. So I'm trying it on lamb, I will be trying it on lobster as well as trying it on perhaps Cornish hens. And I did try it as an additive inside of my oxtail soup. Now there's two types of lamb. One is your Australian lamb and then there is your domestic lamb which is your United States lamb. The difference in these two lambs, and you're going to find that the United States lamb is going to be a lot bigger. The reason for that is because of the way it's fed. They're fed differently. So here you're going to get a bigger cut on your lamb chop or your rib chop other than you're going to get a bigger cut than what you would get if you were using lamb that was from Australia. Now, this is a rib lamb chop. The other lamb chop that you would see, or this is a rib piece of the lamb. The other one would be the chop and it's similar to a pork chop. And you'll see it in your stores most of the time. This is not used a lot because it's more of an expensive cut of meat. Now, I do have my oven set for 400 degrees. And what I'm going to do is lamb only takes relatively 8 minutes. Okay, it depends on the way you actually want your lamb to be, whether you want it rare, medium well, or well done. Now, I think it's already cooked enough on one side, so I'm going to flip it over on the other side. Now, I'm going to allow this just to brown on the other side and perhaps do a little bit of browning. As you can see, over on this side where you see the strip of fat. I'll probably have it do a little bit of browning on that side. I'll place it into my oven for four minutes on one side and four minutes on the other side, which is a total of eight minutes because I like my, ram, my lamb to be medium well. After that, I will take it and slice it off, give you a sample look at it, and of course, taste it, taste the meat to see how it is with Chef Holly's essential seasoning. So once this, we get ready to move to the oven process, I will come back. Okay, I browned this lamb chop, as you can see on that side. I even browned the black, the back part of it. I browned that and I did put a little crusty roast on the outside of the lamb as well. You see, all sides of it is brown. Now, I'm going to take it and put it into my oven, 400 degrees, four minutes on one side, four minutes on the other side. I'll take it from here. I have another hot griddle pan inside of my oven. Put it on there and allow it to cook, and I will Hi, get back. back. And I think that the lamb is ready for us to take out. It's been in the oven relatively a little bit over four minutes. I kept it in, I'm sorry, over eight minutes. I kept it in five minutes on one side and five minutes on the other. So let's look at it and take it out. Okay. 
is the done lamb chops on both sides they are finished you cannot once you take your lamb out of the oven you cannot eat it right away you need to allow it to rest so that the juices can redistribute itself so you would leave it on top of the stove and just cover it with some aluminum foil allow it to rest for five minutes and then you can eat the lamb so we'll get back and I'll show you how it Hi, looks. We're back. The lamb chops, they are ready and they have been plated. So I'm going to take a cut into this to see how it is. I have it sitting on top of a bed of um, broccoli. And I do have a, just like, it's just a strawberry cocktail that I'm having with it. And of course, it's a version cocktail. And this just um, strawberry, really it's just a strawberry drink with some strawberries inside. So let's just try it and see how it came out comes out okay I want you to see this cut into the lamb let me just make one on the other side this lamb is very tender and it cuts down really really nice okay I'm gonna make one more cut because I did cut on the outside just so you can see how that meat just actually falls apart and now I'm going to do a little bit of a taste test. And I do like my meat to be medium well, so this is perfect for me. Okay? That lamb is really good. And I think that the seasonings that's on it, you know, Holly's Essential Seasonings, I think it actually added to the meat. Let me cut down just a little bit further. I mean, it has a very good taste to it. And it's cutting off really, really easy. Okay. It even pulls apart. Okay. Try just one more little piece. <laughs> I mean, it's very good. Mm -hmm. You can taste the seasonings, seasonings that's all the way through the meat, and it actually tastes very, very well. That's all we have for you tonight is the um, lamb chops with Holly's Essential Seasoning, Chef Holly's Essential Seasonings. Thank you for watching. Chris Cook for you too. Bye. Okay, I'm back, and I just wanted to say one thing. I have worn this black scarf for four days now, including this segment. In four separate segments, I have worn this black scarf. Tomorrow, I will be taking it off. Thank you. Bye.